If I see myself where I want to see myself, I'm at Vince McMahon's level. Recently, social media has been buzzing about the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out on WWE during an episode of Monday Night Raw. Interestingly enough, this isn't the first time something like this has happened with a WWE superstar. I'm Kevin, and here are six WWE superstars who walked out on the company. Number six and number five, Sasha Banks and Naomi. Since being called up to the main roster, Sasha Banks and Naomi have been two of WWE's most beloved female superstars. So when both emerged as the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions at WrestleMania 38, not many were left disappointed. But during the May 16th, 2022 episode of Monday Night Raw, Naomi and Banks left the arena prior to their plan and involvement in that night's main event match. The original reported plan was for a six-pack challenge match to feature the boss, Naomi, Asuka, Becky Lynch, Dewdrop, and Nikki A.S.H., and the winner would be crowned the number one contender to take on Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair. Number four, Gail Kim. Gail Kim had two runs in the WWE and is a former WWE Women's Champion, but her second run in the company ended abruptly following a sudden elimination from a a royal match. Making it clear that she wanted to be released back in 2011, WWE reportedly refused her request and Kim took her matters into her own hands. On the August 1st edition of Monday Night Raw, she participated in a battle royal to determine the number one contender for the Divas Championship. However, shortly after the match began, Gail Kim eliminated herself. Kim later explained that WWE had instructed her to get eliminated from the match within the first minute, so she decided just to eliminate herself. On August 5th, Kim announced on her Twitter that she had quit the WWE following the incident. Kim has since become one of the best-known female talents in the world to date and works to enhance talents as a producer with Impact Wrestling. Number 3, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy returned to WWE at WrestleMania 33 alongside his brother Matt, and the two men immediately won the Raw Tag Team Championships. Matt's contract with WWE expired back in 2020, but his brother Jeff stayed with WWE. In the time that followed, several fans highlighted how Hardy had been underutilized by the company, and reportedly Jeff felt the same. Hardy was released by the company in late 2021 after walking out on a six-man tag team match at a live event in December. And being being sent home. Hardy has since joined his brother in AEW and also addressed his actions at the end of his WWE career as a part of the Extreme Life of Matt Hardy podcast. The charismatic enigma described the last few months in the business as nothing more than glimmers of hope. Talking about his sudden walkout, Jeff added subconsciously, that was maybe the smartest thing I've ever done. Guided by something higher than me, I'll say WWE was so strange. After videos surfaced online of Hardy exiting the ring and walking out on the show, the former WWE World Champion made no further appearances for the company before being released. Number two, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin was the biggest draw in the company at the time after main eventing multiple WrestleManias, but after a shorter than expected singles match against Scott Hall at WrestleMania 18, he did not show up the following night on Monday Night Raw, citing exhaustion. The action garnered heavy backlash backstage, but the Texas Rattlesnake soon returned to work. In May of 2002, Austin shocked fans around the world, appearing on the WWE Dot com internet show Bite This, where he took massive shots at the company's then creative direction. Weeks later, Austin was advertised to perform in Atlanta, Georgia on Monday Night Raw and scripted to lose in a stunning, surprising loss in the King of the Ring qualifying matches to a very new Brock Lesnar. The former WWE champion made separate travel arrangements to fly home. This was preceded by late night phone calls with Vince McMahon and WWE talent relations head at the time Jim Ross trying to get Austin to change his mind and get off the plane. It took months for Stone Cold to mend fences and return to the WWE again for his final run culminating at WrestleMania 19 in a trilogy closing classic against The Rock. And then in 2022, we got a great brawling classic with Austin taking on Kevin Owens coming out of retirement and boy was it something else. If you've listened to Austin's podcast over the years, then you know how much he regrets walking out on WWE so many years ago and not having the opportunity to step in the ring with the beast Brock Lesnar. Number one, CM Punk. CM Punk was one of the biggest stars
stars in WWE when he opted to walk out on the company and later revealed all of the reasons for his actions as part of a tell-all podcast. Punk was struggling with several medical issues and wasn't content with the fact that he had not been a part of the main event of WrestleMania yet. As part of Colt Cabana's Art of Wrestling podcast, the voice of the voiceless revealed that he indeed met with Vince McMahon and Triple H and cited that being a WWE superstar wasn't fun anymore. He would later state that WWE barely bothered to take care of his well-being. I do not love this anymore. I'm f***ing sick. I'm f***ing hurt. I'm f***ing confused. I don't know as a business what we're doing anymore. WWE did not take the walkout lightly and would suspend him without pay for doing so. In fact, he would be terminated from his contract, unfortunately, on his wedding day, which further made things worse between the two parties. After taking a lengthy break from the business for more than seven years, CM Punk returned to the professional wrestling ranks with All Elite Wrestling in 2021 to a sold-out crowd at the United Center in Chicago. And that's our video for the day. If you enjoyed it, like the video, drop into the comments, and share it with your friends. For more such videos like this, subscribe to Wrestle Binge by Sports Kita.